Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and start with a piece of newspaper. We're going to open this up so we just have single sheets of newspaper that we are using, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grab like this bigger piece where they're like touching or like, you know, they're connected. And I'm gonna go ahead and crumple everything towards the inside and kind of see like what I have left. I need to squish this so it's really dense, okay? We don't wanna have something that's so like loose that has a lot of air inside here. It needs to be really solid so it weighs a lot so it will stay sitting up on the table, okay? So I have kind of a piece like here. I'm gonna go ahead and crumple some of these around it as well. Um, and just kind of see what I I get. I think lots of people make these too big. This is just the body. So we're trying to make something that is like an oval, right? Where it's smaller, gets bigger, and then it's smaller down at the bottom. You can grab the tape to kind of tape and secure any of this. The tape needs to be used to tape things together. I don't want to see anybody like wrapping the entire thing with tape. Okay, there's no reason that you need to do that. Um, use it for, if you're actually trying to tape a section down, that's fine. Okay, so you can kind of, whoops, um, tape that, kind of look at it. You can squish and kind of feel and think, is this the right size? Okay, and you can take a ruler and look and see. I mean, I already have something that's like four and a half inches tall. Okay, so I need to think about like, is this, the right size. Do I need to squish this down and tape and make this a little bit smaller? Do I need to like squish it together here and um, make this more dense, make it fatter, like down at the bottom of it? Okay, so you have to be asking yourself these questions and thinking, does this look like the basic shape of whatever animal I'm trying to make? Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap another one. I think I'm going to try and just put more on the bottom of this and see if I can like bump in this section up. Maybe I want to do like just a section here and kind of just wrap that bottom area so I for sure don't get more on the top. Okay, so there's not really a fancy way to do this. You are crumpling up the paper. You are trying to make it dense and really solid. And then you're trying to get it to be in that shape that you want it to be in. Okay, a basic shape. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's a little bit smaller here. Let's say that I needed it to be even smaller. Okay, I need phones put away. Put them away. Okay, so I'm gonna squish it, right? And then I can take some tape and tape that squished part together. And you can see how you can change the shape of it. Like it's more narrow up here. I would have like a skinnier neck. Um, the bottom of this, if I have places that are kind of falling apart or like removing or peeling off, then you're going to have to tape them. Okay, so I'm just going to fold, press, and put this together. I mean, little places like this, just to tape this. Okay, if you don't like the way, I mean, something pushes out, then you can tape over it, smash it, it'll, it should go away. Okay. Um, the bottom of this needs to be flat, okay? If you have this up here and it wants to fall over, you really need to hold this and kind of smash it on the desk to flatten this out. You can put your thumb in the middle, kind of smush and flatten this area. So like this piece should stand up by itself now, okay? By smashing it and then pressing, right, on the bottom. 
What I think is helpful, we used to do like wire armatures through the whole thing so then you could move the arms and legs into different positions. We're gonna just put a circle right on the bottom that's going to give you just a tiny bit more weight. It'll get paper mache in there, but it will kind of help keep this lightweight figure grounded. Okay, so this will like help it from falling over. Okay, what is going to help it as well is by making legs, tails, different things like that. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and put this in. This seemed to help. Um, you wanna make it about the same size. Okay, there are pliers up there. In the center of the pliers, there is a wire cutter. Okay, so you're gonna have to put this on the pliers and pinch. I would make two loops with the ends of these. So you're gonna pinch and make a hook. Okay, see that hook? And pinch and make another hook. And then you can hook these two hooks, right, together. And then once they are together, you can smash them and they're gonna stay together. Okay, this gets taped on the bottom. So that's gonna give you just a little bit of extra weight, just in case we have issues with this staying like upright. We don't want things to keep falling over. If they stand up, then they're also gonna be easier to paint, okay? Because you're only gonna have a little area that's not gonna have paint as opposed to like a whole section when it's laying down, okay? So that is the body. This is probably good for right now. I mean, I've taped over the main areas. I need to do the head, so I'm gonna need less paper than I did for my previous one, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have here. I'm gonna crumple everything towards the inside, okay? This just makes like a smoother, like, ball to work with. And then you really have to think, okay, what does my animal look like, okay? What size is the head in comparison to the rest of the body? Okay, does it have a really big head? Does it have a really small head? Is it pointed, right? How much does it point out? Is it more rounded where I would have to like smash this part in? Is it more pointed where I would have to, you know, smash and make it like protrude out? Okay, but all we are looking at the head or just the head, we're not thinking about ears or anything like that. So you have to start with something. So tape a piece and kind of look at it and see what you have. And then you have to ask yourself, what do I need to do to make this look more like my animal? Okay, it's kind of skinny. Um, it's got a lot of folds right on the front so I can tape and cover those up. Maybe I need some more like on the back of this. So again, I can take some newspaper and smaller areas won't need as much. Mm, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Kind of crumple everything in. And then I'm gonna put this around the back of it and kind of look this way. But there's not really a right or wrong on this. We are trying to make a form that is out of solid paper. The heavier it is, the easier it's gonna stand up. I mean, that's just like very logical. So we wanna make it pretty dense. Okay, so you can look at it like this and kind of think about, okay, where do I want this to go? Should it be, you know, facing up? Should it be down? Do I need to smash an area on this so I can make a better connection, right? And so once you figure out where you want this to be, then you are just gonna tape it on there. Okay, so first we've gotta think about what animal are we going to do? Okay, I have suggestions. If you wanna come and ask me about another animal that you can think of, 
then that's perfectly fine. If you are not thinking of your own animal, then you need to sign up on that sheet, write your name on one of those. We're not gonna have a zillion penguins or owls or cats or whatever. Okay, so you pick something up there. This is our first step, okay? So a body and a head that's taped together. Okay, newspaper. This can be, since we are basically making something out of trash, or we are like recycling, upcycling our newspaper. Um, what happens is the table that has the newspaper on it starts to look like a trash can. Okay. And so if it doesn't look like this, if it's not folded up, okay, I don't want it back on that table. It just goes in the trash can. Okay. Like we are going to be okay sacrificing a little bit of newspaper and throwing it away. Um, so you are just taking probably one sheet. That's probably all you're going to need to start. And then you can come back and get more. If there's any pieces like this that are left over, just put it in the trash. Okay. Some people try and save everything and it's just not worth it. Okay. Because it starts to look like a trash can up here.